Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Waves back from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a cylinder, its surface area and volume. This is pretty similar to the previous program, the circle, but I'm going to go through it once more just to ensure that you guys don't have a problem with the input and the processing. So let's go ahead and do this. So the same steps apply, surface area, we need the radius as an input and we need to ask the height as well. So we can do either two things, we can either assume both the radius and the height or we can ask the user for the radius and the height. So I'm going to do the second part, I will ask the user, use the formula 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. As you guys can see, this can be simplified to something like this, 2 pi r into r plus h. Alright, so print this. So here we are going to need two inputs in place of one. So let's go ahead and do this. I'll use NetBeans for this one, unlike last Eclipse. NetBeans, again the same steps, file, new project, Java application, click next. Give it a name, say cylinder test. Alright, click finish. At this point, all the usual garbage that we write is ready. We just need to start working with the program. So now we have two inputs. So we first tell the user out dot print ln. Ask him to enter the radius. Right. Now we need to set our pipe mechanism, which I have been talking about in all the vids so far. First thing the user will enter on the keyboard goes into a big tank, we need to establish a pipe connection with that tank. So we say system.in, which is the name of that pipe. Now, this system.in is like a pipe which carries binary data, ones and zeros, from the keyboard to you. Now you need to convert this into characters. So you say new input stream reader, which is like a filter that converts stuff. So at this point, you have your the stuff converted, but you need to link your program with this converter and that is done with a buffered reader. So at this point everything is ready, give this buffered reader a name. So now if you see what it is giving some error, it says cannot find the symbol. Alright, import it. So now things are perfect. Let's go ahead and read stuff. This is gonna be your value which is gonna be stored in something called input. One maybe. Alright now at this point there's an error. It says unreported exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. What it's trying to say is that if the user enters nothing over here then you will have a problem in your program, right? Because you are trying to read something when there is nothing. So to handle that situation, you simply write throws exception at the top of your program in the main function near the main so that you don't deal with that problem. So at this point we have our input 1. We need to read our input 2 again the same way. We'll say enter the cylinder. The height, right? Oops, sorry about that. Alright, now string input 2. At this point, we have both our input 1 and input 2 which is the radius and the height. But the problem is they are both in string. We need to convert them into double. So we say double radius equals to input 1. This cannot be possible because input 1 is a string. Radius is a double. We need to use a function called parse double to convert this input 1 string to radius double. This parse double is inside a class called double. So we say double dot parse double input one. Same thing we do for the height. We have our height double dot parse double input two. At this point we have both the height and the radius. And now question arises about using the formula. So let's see. Oops, I forgot what the formula was. Let me take a peek. That's two pi r into r plus h. All right. So we say pi now 2 pi radius into radius plus height. Store this inside double area. 
at this point we have everything we just need to print the area out right so take it up copy paste and we simply say area alright so things are ready we say file save right click on the test in the projects window run file enter the radius say 10 enter the height again 10 it's 1256 things are working alright so we are done with the area part now let's go to the volume of the cylinder let's, let's get this over with so now the volume has the same stuff you have input there's three things you can do we assume the value ask the user or take a random value you use the formula v is pi r square h pretty simple compared to the last formula right and then we simply print it let's do this so the input step is going to be the same the radius the height everything is there the conversion find the pi is there just need to remove this area part calculate volume instead double volume is pi into radius into radius into height right yep all right so now we just need to print this volume out go file save right click on this run file it's gonna say enter the radius you say 10 enter the height say 5 okay 1570 all right so at this point we are done with this program i hope you guys got something out of this if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your comments what do you think about this have a nice day i'll catch you guys later